Good morning and welcome to Monmouth Praise. You join us today in St. Mary's Priory Church as we celebrate together the presence of God. And together we go into yet another lockdown, but God is with us and we will be together as we journey through this difficult time. We hope that you'll be joining us Sunday by Sunday to celebrate the presence of Christ with us. And we're also hoping to be able to offer you a compline service starting on Monday evening and we will work through this time together and celebrate God's goodness, even in the midst of our difficulties. We pray at this time for all who are challenged by our present reality. Thank you for joining us. Our short act of remembrance today is in honour of the ship's company of HMS Monmouth, who lost their lives at the Battle of Coronel on the 1st of November, 1914. This year we are unable to hold the service as usual in church, so we're holding this short act of remembrance, which can go out online, and we hope that you will join us in remembering the ship's company on that day going to begin by listening to our organist singing Eternal Father, Strong to Save. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and those, all those who have lived and died in the service of peace.
They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We, we will, will remember, remember them. We offer our prayers today for all those who guard the nation on the seas. Pray for those who maintain peace in difficult situations. And we pray particularly today for the Navy. We remember the company of HMS Monmouth. And we say together the Naval Prayer. O oh, eternal Lord God, who alone spreadest out the heavens and rulest the raging of the sea, who has compassed the waters with bounds until day and night come to an end, be pleased to receive into thy almighty and most gracious protection the persons of us, thy servants, and the fleet in which we serve. Preserve us from the dangers of the sea and the violence of the enemy, that we may be a safeguard unto our most gracious sovereign and her dominions, and a security for such as pass on the seas upon their lawful occasions, that the inhabitants of our island may in peace and quietness serve thee, our God, and that we may return in safety to enjoy the blessings of the land, with the fruits of our labours, and with a thankful remembrance of thy mercies, to praise and glorify thy holy name. For Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we give thanks for the fellowship of the Royal Naval Association. O eternal God, inspire those whom thou hast called into the fellowship of the Royal Naval Association. Let thy Holy Spirit ever be with them and to guide their counsels, that they may set forth thy glory and help forward the work to which they are called. Let thy guiding hand be over them all, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Go forth into the world in peace, be of good courage. Render to no one evil for evil. Support the faint-hearted. Strengthen the weak. Comfort the afflicted. Love and honour all people. Rejoicing in the presence of Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.
I come to you, let my heart be changed, renewed, flowing from the grace that I found in you. Lord, I've come to know. As I see, and me will be stripped away by the power of your love. Hold me close, let your love surround. And as I wait, I rise up like an eagle, and I will soar with you. Your spirit leads me on in the power of your love. Let your love surround me, oh, bring me near, draw me to your side, and as I wait, I rise up like an eagle. Will soar with you. Your spirit leads me on in the power of your love. And I will soar with you. Your spirit leads me on in the power of your love. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, give us your peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace be with you and keep you in the love of Christ. Father of glory, holy and eternal, look upon us now in power and mercy. May your strength overcome our weakness, your radiance transform our blindness, and your spirit draw us to that love shown and offered to us by your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and have failed to do what we ought to have done. We are sorry and truly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and lead us in his way to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you and set you free from sin, confirm you in all goodness and keep you in everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
And now we listen together as Philip sings for us the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. the collect. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, help us so to hear them, to read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that through patience and the comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and forever hold fast the hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And our first reading for today is Psalm number 119. How shall young people cleanse their way to keep themselves according to your word? With my whole heart have I sought you. O let me not go astray from your commandments. Your words have I hidden within my heart, that I should not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, O teach me your statutes. With my lips have I been telling of all the judgments of your mouth. I have taken greater delight in the way of your testimony than in all manner of riches. I will meditate upon your commandments and contemplate your ways. My delight shall be in your statutes and I will not forget your word. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever, world without end. Amen. Listen to the Gospel of Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Then the sign of the Son of Man shall appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth shall mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven unto the other. From the fig tree learn this lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also when you see all these things, you know that he is near, he is at the very gate. For truly I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. 
And so let us pray. Everlasting God, you made a covenant with our ancestors and pledged them descendants more numerous than the stars. Grant that all people may share in this blessing of your covenant, accomplished through the death and resurrection of your Son and sealed by the gift of your Spirit. Loving God, we pray for Bishop Cherry, our clergy team in our town and rural parishes, and all our congregations at this difficult time. Help us to love you with all our hearts and with all our souls and with all our minds and love our neighbours as ourselves. With these commandments before us, we offer our thanksgivings and our petitions on behalf of your church. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Creator God, we pray for the peoples of the world that they may enjoy unperverted justice, whether they are poor or rich, great or small. We pray that those who use violence and terror to bring about their desires and those who then so readily seek revenge following acts of terrorism may they instead pursue all that makes for peace and remember at this time the tragic acts of violence in Paris. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. Merciful God, we pray for the coronavirus situation and the procedures that have been put in place to try to halt its spread here in Wales. Help us all to be responsible in the things that we do in our lives to prevent the spread of the virus by doing what is asked of us. We pray for the government and authorities who are trying to contain the virus and those in the health service who are risking their own lives, caring for the sick. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father God, we pray for our family and friends. We especially pray at this time for the children and teachers breaking up for half term. We lift before you those still burdened, those seeking healing, those in need within the church and wider community. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of all consolation, your son Jesus Christ was moved to tears at the grave of Lazarus. Look with compassion on those bereaved and grieving the loss of a loved one. Give to their troubled hearts the light of hope and strengthen in all of us the gift of faith in Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Gracious God, in the coming week when we find it hard to understand all the difficulties around us, help us to trust you, knowing that you are with us, helping and guiding us to do what is right. Merciful, Merciful Father, Father, accept, accept these, these prayers for the, for the sake, sake of, of your Son, Son Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Also with you. We lift up our hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy, at all times and in all places, to give you thanks, Holy Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who by his death has destroyed death, by his rising to life again, has brought to us everlasting life. And so with the hosts of angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim the glory of your name, and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All praise and thanks to you, true and living God, creator of all things, giver of life. You formed us in your own image, but we have marred that image and fall short of your glory. We give you thanks that you sent your Son to share our life. 
you gave him up to death that the world might be saved, and you raised him from the dead that we might live in him and he in us. Sanctify with your spirit this bread and this wine, your gifts to us, that they may be for us the body and blood of our Saviour Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. And so let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, as he has commanded us, Father, we remember Jesus Christ, your Son, proclaiming his victorious death, rejoicing in his resurrection, and waiting for him to come in glory. We bring to you this bread, this cup. Accept our sacrifice of thanksgiving and praise. Restore and revive your people. Renew us and all for whom we pray with your grace and heavenly blessing. And at the last, receive us with all your saints into that unending joy promised by your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honour and glory are yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And so let us pray with confidence to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The bread which we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in the one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, give us your peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our post-communion prayer. Gracious God, your Son Jesus Christ fed the hungry with the bread of his life and the word of his kingdom. Renew your people with your heavenly grace and in all our weakness sustain us by your true and living bread who is alive and reigns with you now and forever. Amen. Eternal God, comfort of the afflicted, healer of the broken, you have fed us at the table of life and hope. Teach us the ways of gentleness and peace, that all the world may acknowledge the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so the Lord be with you. And also with you. The Lord bless you and keep you and watch over you. The Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 
the Lord look lovingly upon you and give you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest and abide upon you now and always. Amen. And so go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.